A six hour standoff with police ended peacefully in Great Falls this morning after a gun related scare created a chaotic ski scene overnight. KRTV's Jen Fenter takes us back to the home where the standoff started as nearby residents recount this morning's events. Jen joins us now live with more Jen. That's right, Tim, Katie. The standoff started at three this morning and some residents were asked to evacuate their homes. But the neighbors I spoke with are more frustrated with the property landlord than the tenants facing the charges. I guess we have one bad apple in the middle of everything. That's true. We don't need to make this any bigger of a deal than it is. On what is usually a quiet street, neighbors woke to find flashing lights and more than 25 officers blocking the roadway. In a big mic, they were talking to the people in the house. Given them orders. Oakley was asked to leave her home right next door in case there were any stray bullets. Police were trying to get four individuals in this home to come out after two women reported having a gun pointed at them. They were at this home and that one of them's boyfriend had pointed a gun at her head, held her inside a bath and wouldn't let her leave. Slavic says both women escaped without injury but had a hard time getting in contact with Dexter Dubois. We need to talk to you. The tenant who allegedly pointed at a 9 millimeter gun to his girlfriend's head. Please pick up the phone. When officers first arrived, they were actually able to talk to Mr. Dubois on the phone, recognized he was in there and that they had several people in there with him. With no contact from any of the residents inside, the high risk unit was called in. The officers had set up some station right by my deck. Multiple men uh, on task. Those guys were all business. They were bulletproofed and uh, locked and loaded, as you would say. Two women voluntarily exited the home. Hands up, hands up, hands up. But the HRU unit had to enter the home to retrieve the two other males inside. Neighbors say they aren't surprised this home was the target. We've had problems with everybody that's rented there. I'm concerned about the landlord that continues to allow people to live in here doing illegal activities. Dexter Dubois was renting the home and has been charged with two counts of assault with a weapon for aiming his gun at the two victims, one count of partner family member assault and two counts of unlawful restraint. William Sutherland was not involved in the gun incident but fought police officers when they entered the home to arrest him. He is facing one felony and a misdemeanor. Police say no shots were fired in the incident and no one was injured. Tim, Katie, back to you.